Hi, and welcome to this Met Team segment. In this one, we're going to talk about how to run a SQL script. So this isn't a specific uh, Met Team task, but it is something that's fairly common uh, and can be used to help support Met Team. Uh, so the first, the, this example, we're going we're gonna to talk about the uh, database update scripts that you're asked to run at the end of the uh, update process. So the first thing is you're going to need to have a SQL script file or you're going to need to open up SQL Management Studio. There's two ways to do it. If you have a SQL script, you can double click on it and that should open up SQL Management Studio for you. Uh, but I like to, uh, I would recommend that you do it by opening SQL Management Studio first and then browsing to your script. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to go down to start. I'm going to go to uh, all programs and Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 and then you're going to want to open the SQL Server Management Studio. It may say Express if you have the Express version. Uh, I do not currently have the Express version. Uh, but that'll start opening the uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Um, you're going to get this window. Uh, it's going to default to, to the uh, SQL Server instance that you've last opened or on your local machine. Typically, we're going to recognize, rep, recommend you use Windows Authentication. Going to go ahead and hit connect. Uh, that'll cause SQL Management Studio to open. Yours may look slightly different than mine. I have a couple of special plugins, but the basic gist of everything is the same. Uh, it shows the SQL instance that I'm connected to, and you can expand out and see all the different databases that you have in your database. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to open up a file. So I'm going to go to File Open. I'm going to open up a file. Takes us to our, our regular um, file file picker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the path where the SQL um, update scripts for the, are, are installed when you install Met Team. So it's going to be in your C drive. It's going to be in Program Files x86. Inside of there it will be Fluke and you may have different directories but typically you're going to have a database scripts folder. Um, so this is going to show you all of the folders that exist and all the different readme files. I happen to know right now that my database is at version 107, so I'm going to go in here, and here are my SQL files that I have. Uh, so this is the first one that would update us to, to 107, from, to 107A from 107. I'm going to just going to go ahead and double click that. So, met, or, so SQL Management Studio will wait a minute, and then it opens up and it shows us the script. Uh, so here's the big long SQL script. You'll notice at the top of this message it tells you what this one's going to do. It's going to update us from 107 to 107 update 1 or 107A as we've also called it. Important things that you need to do, know whenever you're going to run an update script. The first thing is you always want to make sure what database you're going to run this against. In this case, mine's set up to open against the master database. That is absolutely not the one you want to run the script for. You're always going to want to pick your database. I have a bunch of test databases in my system, but Met Team is the default name of the database that you're going to run against. Um, so here I've picked Met Team. I have my SQL query open. I can use the little checkbox. That's going to just test to make sure that the script is is not got any obvious um, syntax errors. Everything is good you can go ahead and run the script. Now if you're not exactly sure what version a database is on, here's a quick little tip, a little side tour. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new query. That opens up, you can see a new tab opened up. I'm still connected to my Met Team database. So I'm going to actually type, um, I want to do a select statement. I want to do star all the fields from there's a table in Met Team called version and you can see that this will IntelliSense a little bit for you. But this little simple command, select star from version, is going to show me all of the records that are in our version table. So I can see really quickly that my current database is on 107. So again, this script that I had opened up is going to take me from version 107 to 107 update 1. So I'm going to go ahead and again, I've already checked my syntax. I'm going to go ahead back. I'm in this code window for the code that I want to run. I'm going to hit the execute button. That'll cause that script to run for a minute. You're going to get a bunch of statements in the in the uh, the messages window down here. Kind of scroll through them, looking for anything that's read. Uh, there's going to be some messages, and this is going to vary from script to script. But the bottom line is at the bottom, it's going to show us that the database updated successfully. The other important thing is right down here, the query executed successfully. It's also going to show you over here that this took about one second to run. That's all. Now if I go back over here to my first tab, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click execute again to get it to rerun my query. 
you'll notice now that we have a new record and it's 107A. So now if I want to do the exact same process for version 8, we actually have two SQL scripts that we want to run. Uh, and it would have told you this in the, uh, in the, in the install uh, thing. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to, I'll stay back on the tab that I was on. File, open, file. It's going to remember the last place. So here we're going to update to 108. So I'm going to double click on that. Notice it opened up a third tab. So now I've got three tabs open. If you hover over here, it'll actually show you the name. So this is the 108 from 107A script. Again, verify that your database is correct. You can go ahead and check the syntax. That just tells us there's no obvious formatting issues in the, in this, the, the syntax of what's been written. Go ahead and run the execute button. Again, we're going to get different messages. This time we got a little bit different message. This one didn't even take a second to run. And it says the database update succeeded. So now if I go back over here to my in initial query, I can go ahead and I can execute that again. And you'll notice now it shows me really quickly that we're on 108. So again, this was a quick little uh, MetTeam segment to show you how to use SQL Server Management Studio to uh, execute a SQL script, whether that SQL script is something that support has sent you, something that uh, needs to be run against your database. This applies to any SQL script, but the specific example is showing you how to do database update scripts. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.